Time to bring you news from other parts of the world. Let's start in Sierra Leone. Deputy Chief Medical Officer at Sierra Leone's Ministry of Health, Dr. Amara Jambai, says there's a cholera prevention plan in place to help deal with a possible upsurge in waterborne diseases as a result of the flooding and mud slides that occurred in the country. He says some of the bodies are still buried under the rubble and are likely to decompose. He spoke to my colleague, Maxwell Agbaba. This is, the, this is a hard to reach area. So tractors went in and removed. In the end, we, we saw body parts and, you know, it, it was pathetic. Went down to the uh, major hospital and we had to deal with that. It means the first problem we had at hand as a ministry was how to get rid of uh, the bodies and the missing uh, arms, limbs and all this sort. And that is our task now, burials. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm talking to you now, we have put in place burial teams. Mm -hmm. As you know, we had uh, the experience of the Ebola, yeah. whereby we had uh, people who were doing burials. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, they just sort of just came in well, and people started um, f falling into a place, and the burial teams started resurrecting. And, and as of now, they are uh, operational. So have you made available um, body bags, for instance, which would be, you know, very critical in this? Have you made available the necessary gloves that um, some of these um, workers will be using? Fortunately, we had leftovers from the Ebola, the body bags, the, uh, you know, uh, PPEs, and the required um, implements for safe and dignified barriers, which we are doing. So um, we, have, we are fortunate that we have some residual effect of the Ebola. So we are using that. Now, finally, um, let's talk about the aftermath of this um, you know, disaster. Now, there's um, the possibility that there will be an upsurge in waterborne diseases like um, cholera, like diarrhea. You talked about you know, still going around looking for some you know, body parts. All of these would contribute to some of these waterborne diseases that we're talking about. How is the Ministry of Health in Sierra Leone looking um, you know, to mitigate um, the effects of some of these things that would come up in the future? Well, as a ministry, uh, for us, yes, we will do the, the barriers. But our major, major concern is to make sure that more lives are not lost. In other words, we want to put in place preparedness plans for us to mitigate uh, cholera or any diarrhea diseases that may arise. Because uh, the area that has been affected, we are very sure that uh, we will not be able to recover all the bodies, and bodies will remain and they will decompose. Apparently, this happens to be like a waterway going on. Uh, you are going to have it flowing into the streams along uh, those areas. So our major concern is uh, being very prepared for a possibility of diarrheal diseases, mainly cholera diseases. So we've put teams that are now, uh, we, have, we, ha we do have a cholera preparedness plan that, that is always just for us to fine tune the cholera preparedness plan and, uh, and make sure that we have buy-in by partners mm. and um, resurrect the usual thematic uh, components, the water and sanitation beat, the, uh, we have the barrier teams and we have, um, you know, the treatment teams. So all the components of a comprehensive cholera preparedness plan have been resurrected. Meanwhile, mass burials are being held on the outskirts of Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown, for the 400 people known to have died in the mudslide and flood. And President Ennis Bayakaroma is expected to join Christian and Muslim religious leaders for a ceremony at the site in the nearby city of Waterloo later. The search continues for an estimated 600 people still missing since Monday. Some 3,000 people are homeless in what is being described as a humanitarian emergency.